how to control robots before they control you. Get the super boss gears including Sling Extra Fake Robo Arm Power Flower and Wild Dragon. Turn up the fun to the mark. Five in one. Super boss gears. <laughs> Hello YouTube! The footage you've just seen is an old Arduino set commercial from 1989. I found it on this old VHS Laserdisc cartridge and decided to share it with you. The Superbot Gear set was released by the BZQP toy manufacturing company and it was fairly popular back in the early 90s for its nicely balanced fun with education. Superbot Gears. What a weird name for a product by the way. Ok, but jokes aside. I've made this set for my nieces to teach them something about the basics of electronics, mechatronics and robotics. As I mentioned in the commercial, I believe it is important for the children of today to learn how to control robots or the robotic overlords of the future will be controlling them. This educational kit consists of some basic, easily available electronical components, Arduino code and 3D printed plastic elements. The Superbot gears come in a recycled box after a roll of 3D printing filament. Inside we can find all the parts and the booklet with step-by-step -step assembly instructions. The booklet also has some few extra interesting facts for the curious children. In the beginning of the manual I've put the necessary safety hints instructing the kids never to play around with the mains voltage. After unboxing the set looks like this. The electronic components include an Arduino Nano compatible board, three servo motors, a joystick and some other elements. The full list of parts is available in the video description. The kit can be assembled into five different sets, each corresponding to a different difficulty level. Blink. First one of course is the Blink example, because every great Arduino adventure starts with the Blink. Here we learn the basics about electronic circuitry and we are introduced to the breadboard, resistors and LED lamps. Extra fade. In the second Extra Fade example, we can control the LED brightness with a potentiometer. We learn that Arduino board can read and interpret some signals from the outside world and that a potentiometer can be used to dim a lamp. Wild Dragon! Here the fun begins. We use the knowledge gained in the previous examples to build something that actually moves. Thanks to the servo motors, the dragon randomly moves from side to side and angrily tries to bite the operator and its own power cord. If you're brave enough, with a potentiometer you can moderate how angry he is. Power Flower! The Power Flower uses four photoresistors to autonomously follow a light source. The flower detects which photoresistor is lit the strongest and tilts in this direction. It is generally a good idea for adults to assist in the whole assembly, but here I think some help is necessary. Connecting the photoresistors in a proper configuration may be quite confusing for children and also the cables may tangle and pull on the connections a bit, so a bit of a soldering may be necessary. Robo arm. Finally, we connect all the knowledge gathered in the previous examples to build a robotic arm. The arm is controlled with a joystick attached to a 3D printed pad. The set also includes three training loops of different size that you can try to catch, which in practice is harder than it sounds. I know that the choice to put the whole weight of the arm on the servo attachment may be a bit controversial, but surprisingly it works quite well and I think additional bearing mount would increase the complexity of the assembly and I wanted to avoid that. Do you want to get the set? I have some good news for you. The Superbot Gears project is fully open source, so if you want to download, 3D print or edit it, it is available on the Arduino project hub and Thingiverse. Depending on your 3D printer's tolerances, some holes may need sanding or pre-drilling. The building manual is available both in English and in Polish. I prepared the whole project in my spare time in around 2 months and if someone is interested in its history, 
or perhaps wants to know how much time such stuff takes. Here is a small timeline of the preparations, including the early brainstorming, prototyping, graphic design and video preparations. So that would be it for today. I wanted to make a simple, straightforward and easy to follow Arduino kit for my nieces and I think I've achieved the goal. I hope you enjoyed the project and that it may be useful for you. I have some more projects on the way, so I'll see you soon.